Reading is the single most important homework you can do to help your young child succeed. It can expand a child's knowledge and vocabulary, strengthen comprehension and social skills, and provide enjoyable bonding experiences for families. The benefits of reading to young children is endless. However, sometimes when you try to read a book to your little ones, it can be tricky to get their attention. They may be roaming down the aisle as a pack of dinosaurs, or ignore you as air in the atmosphere. So today, we will explore some very practical ways to get your child excited to read. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly what to do to get your child happily sit beside you for some story time. First of all, let your child pick the book. You can give limited choices, but always let them pick. And here are some tips about how you can ask. Instead of saying, "Why don't you pick a book from this pile and I'll read it to you, okay?" Try something like this: "Let's read a book together. Do you want to pick one?" The second way of asking is more inviting. It makes the impression that you really want to read that book too, and you're giving your child the privilege to pick. You can also have your child physically bring the book to you after they chose the book. This little action primes their mind to believe that they are the ones who want to be read to, not the other way around. Lastly, if your child keeps picking the exact same book over and over again, you can simply make a rule for them to pick a book from your selection first. Before moving on to their favorite book, when your child is excited to pick, he or she will for sure be excited to read. Now, what if that's not the case? Don't worry, just move on to step two. Try a hook statement to hook in your child's attention, kind of like advertising a book to your child. But keep in mind, we want to minimize asking too many questions, like, "What is this?" What is this person doing? If your child hasn't even shown interest in the book, testing their knowledge at this point will not make them want to read the book with you. We will talk more about asking questions in another video. To make a good hook statement, we want to use words like "I wonder," "Would you like to find out?" "That looks just like what you did." For example, we could say something like this. That silly boy looks just like you. I wonder what's going to happen to these fish. Would you like to find out? It's got a wombat sitting in the grocery cart. That is your favorite spot to sit, isn't it? What do you think he's going to get from the store? A good hook can hook in readers from all ages, and your little ones are no exceptions to that. If that still doesn't work. Try step three. Read it yourself. Now here's the catch: you want to read it to yourself without words from the book. Make it sound like you are really enjoying this book without giving out too much details. Something like this: Oh no! This is going to be a disaster here. Look! Oh, this is so cute. He looks so happy. And that looks like my car.、Hmm. Most children are nosy copycats. Hopefully, by this point, you have an eager child waiting to get inspired by you. In addition to what you say, here are some extra tips to consider as well. Make story time a routine. It is so important for young children to have daily routines. That means reading to your child every single day, with no exceptions. Pick a book that is the correct reading level for your child. Sometimes parents love books with grand themes, big words, and cleverly written rhymes. They may very well be excellent books, but if your child is really struggling to understand and cannot relate to the characters, then you're better off saving them for a later age. Another thing you can consider is to sing a story time transition song to your child. Especially for some of the rambunctious little ones, some music can help a long way. I put some links to good transition songs if you're interested. Make the story time environment quiet with no distraction. That means no TV, no phone, no eating, no playing. The less distraction, the better listening. 
Reading is truly the best gift that you can give to your child. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.